All right, our viewer question today um, has to do with exercising. And they are just curious, basically, your opinion on if you have any specific recommendation in terms of what is best. Uh, of course, everyone is different, but you know, what are some of the best things to keep in mind while exercising? And they've also asked, um, what do you enjoy personally for your daily exercise? Oh, very, <laughs> very important question. Um, so let's put it in the bigger context. Thank you for that question because we are animals and that means we got to move. Part of the contract of having an animal body, you got to use it. And but seriously, animals that stop moving don't live very long. They ask the zebras and the gazelles out in the African plains there, African veld, what happens when they stop moving. You know, they got to deal with the lions and the jackals and the caribou up in the Arctic. Uh, when they stop moving, the wolf pack closes in. And we have our own predators. So when we stop moving you know, this body, then we develop blood clots and infections. Our predators are on the inside. Yeah, but those microbes uh, start getting active when we uh, stop moving and our uh, immune system decreases. So move it or lose it is really, really true. You want, you want to keep moving. So, uh, so what does health and fitness really entails? Uh, of course, there's three aspects uh, to fitness. Uh, one is flexibility, man. You want to keep those joints moving. Uh, nothing says old man or old woman as much as some people. Some have left their neck stiffen up and their spine stiffen up and they move well, one solid unit there and they uh, shuffle along. Uh, man, you want to do that yoga. You want to do those uh, stretching exercises. Uh, keep those joints limber, especially your neck and your spine. Do those cat rolls and those childhood prayer poses. Uh, so for even five minutes, ten minutes in the morning, uh, and, and preferably again at night, for flexibility is really important. So keep your flexibility. Uh, the second is cardiovascular endurance. And you've got to keep your heart pumping, you got to keep your arteries open uh, because that supplies fresh oxygen to your brain. It pumps blood through your livers and kidney, your liver and kidneys so they can get rid of waste products. Your blood flow is life. So you need a strong heart to do that. So we're talking about sustained activity. Uh, and just to go out for a good half hour walk every day, um, uh, climb up and down the flight of stairs in your apartment two, three times, but get that heart rate up, uh, hopefully over a hundred beats per minute and keep it there for at least 15, 20 minutes uh, every other day. Then that's the bare minimum to pay your dues as far as fitness. But ideally you do a nice 40 minutes workout and it can be a good power walk, uh, but something that, that hopefully helps you break a sweat. Uh, the general rule is if you haven't broken a sweat, you know, the workout really hasn't done much for you on the cardiovascular point of view. So do something. Uh, I'll work out on a treadmill, an elliptical trainer. Uh, and I'll tell you what I do in a minute with my st stationary bicycle. Uh, but uh, some type of cardiovascular activity. Swimming, uh, now for good cycling, uh, bicycle. Uh, and something to get that heart rate up uh, uh, at least every 48 hours for a good 20 to 40 minutes. Uh, that is key for cardiovascular fitness. And finally, there's muscular strength. It's keeping your, your muscle mass up. Uh, and it's not to build Schwarzenegger kind of muscles here. It is to keep enough muscles on your bones so your joints don't dislocate. When, uh, when the deltoid muscle gets really thin and attenuated, it's easy for, that, for the humerus to be pulled out of the socket when people fall or someone uh, helps them out of a chair. Uh, and you're more likely to fracture a bone if you don't have muscle strength. That condition is called sarcopenia. It means uh, that uh, your muscles are so frail uh, that uh, you're one of those little old men or little old ladies in the nursing home who can't get out of a chair because they have so little muscle mass. Man, you don't want to wind up like them. They, they're like the the sick uh, caribou in, in the Arctic. They don't last very long. So, um, so keep your muscular strength up. And again, you can just do it with these elastic bands. You just go a little three pound hand weight and go for a walk. Uh, and, and this will tone up your muscles. And so there's lots of ways to tone up the muscles. So that said, those three aspects, uh, what do I do personally? Uh, and uh, if I knew this question was coming, I would have 
got, got my equipment in here, but uh, in my living room, I've got a recumbent stationary bicycle. And by recumbent, I mean it's the kind that you sit up on. Uh, you don't hunch over like on a regular uh, bicycle trainer. Uh, this one, you sit down and sit up straight. Um, I, uh, I get on the bike, I click up the resistance, uh, and I start pedaling. And, when, and after I start pedaling, I reach down and grab my two 10 pound uh, hand weight dumbbells. And for the next 40 minutes, I'm doing, while I'm pedaling for my cardiovascular workout, uh, I'm doing an, an upper body workout with dumbbells. I'll bring it out to the side and I'll hold it as long as I can until my arms get tired. And then I'll, then I'll put them up over my head until I hold them there as long as I can isometrically. Until I until they get fatigued, and then I'll hold them back behind me. Now I'll flip them over and back and over and back. You can do a whole upper body workout now with a couple of uh, with a couple of dumbbells in your hand, and I do that for forty minutes. And after forty minutes, well, I worked up a good sweat after the pedaling and the workout, and it keeps my upper body toned. Uh, and uh, I recently turned 73 years old. I feel about like I did when I was 45 or 50. Uh, and this kind of regimen really seems to help. So works for me. But uh, again, an elliptical trainer, a, a climber, anything that gets that body moving is going to help. But just do it. Consistency that is the name of the game. I just did a, uh, uh, a master class with uh, endurance athlete Rich Roll and with uh, strength expert uh, Robert Cheek. And they each have excellent books that will guide you. Dr. Robert Cheek wrote Shred It, um, and uh, Rich Roll wrote Finding Ultra. They've got good uh, ideas for doing workouts as well. So pick something that you like to do and do it. Someone said, what's the best exercise? The one the person will actually do is the best exercise. So, uh, so as I said, just these elastic bands are all you really need. Uh, you, can, you can do a, a good workout without any equipment at all. So, uh, so that's what I do. That's how important I think it is. Um, uh, you know, don't just get up in the morning and just go sit down on your computer and start working. Uh, that, that ages you in this, this uh, inside life that we're living here. So all the more important in these COVID times to keep your fitness up uh, on those three levels. Keep flexible, keep strong, and uh, get keep your endurance going. And you'll have a body that will last your lifetime. So uh, good question. Thank you very much for that one. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.